Love a good scare, but also can't resist anime booba. Well, you're in the right place. Ecchi and horror are two extreme genres in anime, but you rarely see them combined. However, when a horror anime incorporates the lewd into the genre, or vice versa, you know I'd find them. If you, like I, are one of those very rare degenerates that enjoy being scared just as much as you are horny, well, here are my picks for the best ecchi horror anime that inject the sexy into the scary. You ready? Let's go. Okay, let's kick this one off with one that combines boobs with scary demon ghost-like things. Miriko-chan is about a girl who suddenly sees ghosts all around her. No, not the standard maiden waiting for her long lost love in the afterlife type, but the horrific and truly terrifying ghost. I mean, these things are so creepy. Most of the anime is about her pretending she doesn't see them, but no one expected the show's many etchy moments. The frequent panty shots and boob squishes, well, they distract from the terror, but it's something that fans of both etchy and horror, well, they won't mind at all. And from what I saw of the manga for Miracle, Chan, it was more horror than fan service, whereas the anime flipped this. So if you prefer one over the other, you've got a version that will please you. Next, we're whipping up a killer combination of the lewd and the frightening. And all I need to tell you is that this one is about a dominatrix exorcist. Yes, <laughs> this anime is called Ghost Talkers Daydream. Misaki Saiki is an extraordinary young woman, not because of her day jobs, which do include being a columnist for a porn magazine and a dominatrix for a BDSM club, but you know, there's something else. She can also see ghosts. As a result, she is employed to work as a secret exorcist for a government organization called the Livelihood Preservation Group. Fan service, nudity, and sexual themes are all important to the motives and backstories in this anime. As is insight into Japanese suicide culture as well as sexual dysfunction with sexual and physical abuse. Now, it sounds kind of heavy, I know, but the anime deals with its topics in a sensitive way, as well as dropping in comedy, making it bright yet dark at the same time. <laughs> Okay, when you say ecchi horror, I'm sure there is one anime that comes straight to your mind, and you'd be absolutely correct to think so, because this one is the godfather of this crazy mix genre. High School of the Dead. That's right, let's go. High School of the Dead effortlessly combines zombie horror, gore, and action with epic fan service, top tier waifus, and arguably the best jiggle physics in all of anime. If you ever wondered how you could make a zombie apocalypse sexy, well, High School of the Dead is the answer. One minute they're fleeing for their lives with the threat of death on their heels, and the next, a huge busty beauty is cooking dinner in nothing but an apron. If I ever do one of those paid zombie experiences, this is the package I want, please. Sometimes the best horror shows are the old ones, you know, they have that unique charm to them. And we're diving back to 2004 for some sexy horror Gantt style. The story begins with Kei Kurono being teleported to a mysterious flat after his death with other people and a black orb known as Gantz. Gantz is an entity that gives people orders to kill others. Now, to escape the world they are trapped in, everyone must complete the mission assigned to them. And I gotta say, it's not the skin tight bondage outfits in Gantz that make it etchy, although they are highly appreciated. Hiroya Oku, the series creator, well, he's chronically horny. In Gantz and, well, pretty much all of his series, really. His female characters can only be characterized as top heavy, if you know what I mean. And they wind up naked more frequently than you might think. Gantz, well, it combines suspense and death with tasteful, sexy moments to emphasize how intense and steamy the prospect of impending death can be. 
If I had to pick one anime on this list that perfectly combines explicit horror and smut aimed at the very mature and adult audiences, then Mnemosine is my pick. This anime has not only been described as torture porn, but it is also regarded as one of the darkest anime ever made. The story is set in near future Tokyo and follows Rin Asoe, an immortal investigator who investigates dark and edgy supernatural happenings. And when we mention Mnemosine, um, well, it's the whole package. Broken ribs, blood, beheadings and gore, well, they're blended with nudity, sexual lovemaking, including bondage. Yeah, boy. However, it doesn't just throw blood and sex around just to please its audience. Mnemosine is the pinnacle of horror and you'll never desire a more bloody and edgy experience than this one. Okay, let's lift the mood a bit with this next one, which combines dark comedy with ecchi. This one tells the story of Sakura Kusakabe, a 14-year-old boy who in 20 years time will develop a technology that causes women to stop physically aging after they reach 12 years old. For Kusakabe, this is all for his master plan of creating a lollicond world. However, he's accidentally created immortality amongst humans, which has offended God. So offended that he sends Dokoro, an angel assassin from the future, to kill him. Now, she decides against killing him, but instead tries to keep him occupied so that he never creates the lollicon tech. But her idea of keeping him occupied is by, well, repeatedly killing him as he reincarnates every time. This is bludgeoning angel Dokoro-chan. Think ReZero if Subaru was repeatedly killed by an ecchi Amelia, which... Based on that, I, I completely understand his infamous words to Rem now. What would you do if you came home one day to find a half-naked zombie girl on your bed? Wait, no, <laughs> don't answer that one. This anime is about Chihiro, a zombie-obsessed guy who has wanted an undead girlfriend ever since he was a kid. Little did he know that he'd actually get one. After the sad passing of his pet cat, he tries to create a resurrection potion to bring him back to life. During the process, he meets a rich girl named Rea Sanka who wants to escape her oppressive life. Unknowingly, Chihiro succeeds in creating the potion, and the big twist is that Rea also drinks the potion, thinking it will end her life, but it actually turns her into a zombie and she now has to adjust to her new life. This anime is called Sanka Rea and it's actually pretty wholesome, but of course it does have the zombie theme and some great, great ecchi moments, which is why it's on the list. And a, a lot of the ecchi comes from Chihiro's childhood friend, aka his cousin, who in classic Japanese style wants him, so you know that's pretty scary too. Incest and all that. Right, let's get back on track away from the lighter series and go for one that's pretty hardcore. Unlike a lot of series that add ecchi as a form of comedy into the anime, Devilman Crybaby, well, it certainly does not. The series is about devils and demons and is as gruesome as they come, but as much as it shows a lot of graphic violence, it also shows a lot of graphic sexual stuff too. I'd say 30% of the time you'll see some booba, a sexual act, and the odd orgy. Now the story is absolutely insane, but don't be surprised when you're completely engrossed and then all of a sudden you're watching a harpy demon rubbing one out. Like I honestly never knew I could be watching something so lewd and then in the next instant I'm stunned by some proper graphic dismemberment. It's crazy, definitely watch this one. Let's explore another older series from 2005 Supernatural, Speed Graffa. It follows the cynical and jaded reporter Tatsumi Saiga, who is assigned to investigate a fetish club for Japan's wealthy, whose goddess is a youngster named Kagura Tenuzo. She's a pretty odd young girl with the ability to grant people superpowers based on their desires, obsessions, and fetishes. When she kisses Saiga during their first encounter, she gives him the power to destroy anything he takes a photo of, which is related to the sexual pleasure he gets from photographing something, I guess, really interesting. 
Speed Graffer is not etchy as in, ooh, panties and booba, but rather having sex and humping one another. It's a pretty wild ride, that's for sure. Some of the best stories in anime come from the ones based on visual novels, and this next one is certainly no exception. We're talking about school days. Now, at first, this anime doesn't seem like a horror at all, but just wait, as they adapted the darkest route in the VN. Those who know, well, they know. In the story, Makoto, a first-year high school student, falls in love with Kutanaha Katsura, a girl who travels the train with him to school. Sakai, another student, assists Makoto in obtaining Kutanaha, but she also falls in love with him too. I've got to say, the anime isn't especially etchy itself, but it is based on an 18 plus game that had a lot of sex scenes. These scenes, well, they were unfortunately cut from the anime, but I do believe if you search hard Hard enough online where you'll find them. Regardless, I think this is definitely one you should check out for that thrill you're searching for with the other titles on this list, as this one is one of the darkest psychological anime out there. We've had a good amount of scares with the ghouls and thrillers, but let's turn our attention to a couple of survival anime that can also be as scary as they are etchy. Because let's face it, survival anime can be notorious for calling a timeout on everyone trying to kill each other so that they can loot up some of the girls for a sec. Something I, I'm not complaining about. One anime that likes to abuse these timeouts is an anime called Batum. In Batum, the participants are basically trying to blow each other up with bombs on a secluded island, with the winner winning a ticket off of it. That sounds like a really horrible experience, right? Well, it's worse for main girl Himiko, whose entire character is basically there to be looted up as she is the target for many a sexual soul. Sadly, this is a series without a season two, but that could be because they really, really amp up the etchy in the manga post anime. So if you want more of the good stuff, then definitely give that a read. Our other survival anime is another that likes to take a break from the fear of death with some pantsu shots and of course, etchy moments. This anime is High Rise Invasion. It's a death game anime where the participants are transported to another world where they have weapons and masks that are all built differently, granting unique powers to the users. It's pretty gruesome at times and it does not shy away from showing off the girls. You know, some even call this anime Thigh Rise Invasion, if you get me. And I gotta say, one thing that most people remember this series for is that one character gets her shirt ripped in episode two, exposing her bra, and then it literally stays like that for like another 10 episodes before she finally gets a new one. It's awesome, but if you want gruesome and etchy, then this is one for you to check out, for sure. Okay, there is a lot of debate on whether this anime is etchy or not, so I've included it on the list for you to decide. Either way, this is one of the most legendary horror anime of all time, Elfin Lead. For me, Elfin Lead is a horror series that was unintentionally sexy. I'd say that it wasn't etchy as they don't loot up a lot of the situations, but they do end up getting naked quite often. I think the confusion comes from the first scene where Lucy is walking around naked murdering people. That's not to say that there aren't any intentionally sexy moments in the series, because there are, but for the most part, this one is a pure murder fest with a really, really great story. And that's it for this list, but if you want more etchy titles to check out, then make sure to click this video link here where I dive into the best etchy anime of the decade. I'll see you over there. Take care. Peace, peace.